Okay, so some people were confused about how to spiralize the zucchini. So I wash it with a vegetable brush and vegetable spray. And then I have to cut the ends off to make sure it's fairly straight, although this one has a slight curve. And then you attach it to the and see, sometimes with the curve, you need to do it in two parts. So now it's nice and straight. And you attach it in here. And then we make sure it's attached to the table and has some suction cups. And just start spiralizing. And I'm hoping you can see this. It's coming out here. Probably should have moved the camera. Um, do that for the next one. And you just keep turning it. And then you get these beautiful zucchini noodles. of celery and a carrot and I'm going to cook that up for a few minutes just to get it softened. did the order wrong. You're supposed to put the chopped onion first, but hopefully it won't make a difference. So I have a diced, about a half of a diced medium red onion. I'm going to cook that up. So I should have probably done that first and then added in the carrots, but I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to cook this for a few more minutes and then I'm going to add in the ground 
beef and I'm going to push the vegetables over to the side so I'll come back in a minute to that. Okay, so now that the meat has browned, I'm going to add the vegetable side, mix it together and um, I'm going to add in a little bit of oregano. that together and then I have about a quarter of a cup I use vegetable broth you could use chicken broth too if you like and just break it up and then I'm going to add in about a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes um, I used with basil and garlic because I didn't have any fresh basil you could add in extra basil if you want. And then um, you also add in about three teaspoons of tomato paste. bring this to a boil and um, then we're going to add in the zucchini noodles and actually I think I am going to add in a little bit of basil to it. Okay. Bring this to a boil, and we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to bring it to a boil. It's just about there. I did add in some more basil. I wish I had some fresh basil, but I don't. Um, and I did add in a little more garlic powder. And then you're just going to lower the heat, just like this, and let it simmer for about 15 minutes and then we're going to come back and we're going to add in the zucchini noodles. So I'm going to cook it like this for about maybe two or three minutes. Okay, so it has been cooking about a minute and I did want to show you something that sometimes like trim the noodles just so it's a little bit easier to manage as they um, as they cook they kind of soften up and you can see if you need to cut them or not so this looks really delicious 